The grief-stricken family of Nicole Mansfield. If you don't know the name, I want you to take a look because this is Nicole Mansfield. This is uh, her in happier times with her daughter, from whom we will hear in just a moment. And this is Nicole Mansfield as well. Her American driver's license is shown on Syrian TV. That's right, Syrian State TV. In an exclusive interview, Nicole Mansfield's grieving father tells CNN he had asked the U.S. government to revoke her passport, which might have prevented this. Nicole Mansfield apparently has died in the Syrian civil war. And according to the Syrian government, she was fighting on the side of a rebel group linked to al-Qaeda. You're looking at this bullet-riddled car in which Mansfield and two other Westerners reportedly died at the hands of the Syrian armed forces. I want you to listen now to this horribly grief-stricken family in suburban Flint, Michigan. Listen first to what the father says about his concerns that Nicole, raised Baptist, had gotten in with the wrong kind of people after converting to Islam. He says three years ago, he actually took his concerns to the FBI. Just knowing in my heart that something was not right. You know, they, they need not let her go on like she was, you know. They needed, and obviously my feelings and my intuition was right because this was going on. What was it, though, specifically three years ago that, that concerned you? Was That she, because of stuff that was being said at Easter about Israel. Can you be it, more specific? Well, I, I, you know, that was three years ago. All I know is that I went to the FBI about my concerns. And I know that they did follow up because they were following her for a while. Uh, they just, they needed to revoke her passport, then this wouldn't be, this wouldn't be going on. We wouldn't be sitting here right now. I didn't believe it was my mom the first time I saw them. And then I had to look again, and I looked at her body and her feet and her hands and her nose and her mouth, and I just, I knew it was her. And it makes me mad that they're all over the internet and the media. Like, they can take that down. I, they don't need to... I shouldn't have to see my mother's body like that all over the media and the internet. There are people calling her a terrorist. There are people calling her a CIA agent. And she was neither. She was just an American woman who was mislead, like misguided by people who had bad intentions, good intentions, but were extreme about it. Well, if it was identity and she wanted people to know who she was, she sure got it. That's all I can tell you. Loved her, loved her dearly. Dearly. It's okay, Mom. It's okay. What do you say to her? What do you say to her right now? Your grandfather's gonna be mad at you. Very mad at you. You was a true American. But I never stopped loving her. In spirit, always. We can't control what she believed in. We could try to maybe help her, but when she set her mind to something, that was it.